We're down here in Benfleet in Essex. We've just finished putting up this 12 foot by 8 foot apex roof shed. A normal apex roof shed would have the door in the short side, in the 8 foot, and the windows would be in the long side, in the 12 foot. Uh, with this design, we call it a reversed apex. Um, we put the door and the windows all on the same side. It's, uh, it's out of the customer's preference. It's the, the look that the client wanted, so that's what we do. Um, the advantage of it is that internally, instead of having just under six foot at the lowest point, you've got just under six foot four at the lowest point. So there's plenty of headroom inside these sheds. Uh, I'll start on the outside as normal. The roofing felt on this is a two kilogram green mineral felt. Uh, it's two kilogram per square meter. Some people quote it out as a 20 kilogram felt, but the stuff that we use is polyester based. Now I'm gonna try and show you something here that basically, you look at that edge there it's not a square edge that's because what we do is we router the edge of the roofs so that the uh, instead of the uh, felt coming down and going straight over at a right angle it's got a round to go over it's a stress relief it stops the felt cracking along that edge um, the cladding on the shed is a fifth grade and better Scandinavian redwood uh, it's tongued and grooved um, this one, the finish thickness is 12 millimeter. The door, as normal, has got three uh, 10 inch T hinges, 300 millimeter. No, they're 250 millimeter uh, T hinges. They're bright zinc plated, as is the, uh, the staple and hasp there, and as is a little turn button. The door, as you can see, is all edged and braced, and if we go inside, you can see the inside of the shed amazingly so inside the shed here you can see it's a nice airy shed it's uh where you've got so much headroom in here it does make the shed just feel that it's, it's bigger it just yeah you've got you're not ducking anywhere you, you can't crack your head the framework on the shed 63 millimeters or two and three quarter inches by an inch and a half or 38 millimeters so it's a good substantial uh, framework on it and if I can find the trademarks they because they stamp this timber up to show that it is a, a graded timber but I can't see any basically the timber that we uh, the framework that we use is a c16 graded which is the same as they use on stud work in uh, new build houses now on the roof the roof you can see is all tongued and grooved uh, we do that because we like tongue groove roofs. That's, we don't like using uh, chipboard or plywood on the roofs. If you use plywood on the roof, it generally turns a bit mouldy. We don't like that. Uh, chipboard, if it gets wet, it can separate. The only time we ever do use chipboard is, uh, we do, well, it's not actually chipboard. We use a, a board called OSB, Oriented Strand Board. We use uh, Grade 3, which is a waterproof board. We use that on the large pent roof sheds. That's the only time that we use it. Now, if you look along here, that there is a four by two running right the way through the middle of the shed. Now, by doing that four by two through the middle, rather than uh, using um, rather than using a truss through the middle, the roof is all supported very, very nicely. I'm 15 stone. I can walk across that roof. So it's all very, very nicely supported. It's not going to uh, dip in. The truss isn't going to separate and fall apart. Uh, and you've got nothing in the middle of the shed to bang your head on. So that's pretty much uh, all I can tell you about that shed. Oh, the floor, they didn't do the floor. There you go, the floor in the shed, as with all our large sheds, is 18 millimeter exterior gray plywood. Uh, it's exterior gray so it doesn't separate, it's 18 millimeter, you're not gonna go through that. Uh, we put motorbikes on top of, uh, on top of floors like this, it don't give way it's a good strong floor so there you go that's a 12 foot by 8 foot uh reversed apex garden shed